Hello and welcome to IU NewsNet Daily. I'm Katherine Patterson. And I'm Tyler Vondry. Today we have updates on a fraternity under cease and desist and on new IU residence costs. And later, Tyler gives us the latest on IU athletics. NewsNet Daily begins now. The IU chapter of Zeta Beta Tau has been given a cease and desist order by the university for an alleged hazing incident. The fraternity was already on disciplinary status last semester for noncompliance with the Office of Sorority and Fraternity Life Policies. All activities within the frat have been suspended until further notice. And on Monday, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit Turkey and Syria. Now the countries are facing large death tolls and massive property damage. According to the New York Times, the death count hit 17,000 as of this morning. Roughly an eighth of Turkey is under a state of emergency. Rescue workers are trying to get to people as fast as possible in the winter weather. While Turkey is on the other side of the world, IU can monitor some of the aftershocks in our seismograph lab. This is the latest in a series of deadly earthquakes over the years, and some say bigger earthquakes seem to be more and more frequent. But experts say that's not necessarily true. So with a growing world population and more people living in hazardous areas, we are, and of course global news coverage expanding, we're hearing more and more about damaging earthquakes. The Turkish Student Association is collecting donations through GoFundMe. You can search their page through Indiana Aid for Earthquake Relief in Turkey. And on-campus residents should expect to see a spike in their room and board cost. The IU Board of Trustees approved an increase in housing cost by about $155 per year for Bloomington students. They say the rise is due to the record high inflation last year. IU Treasurer Donald Luke says that despite the rise, IU has been able to implement room and board increases at or near the lowest levels in more than a decade. And speaking of costs, have you ever wondered how to budget or felt lost trying to find a good credit card rate? Well, you're not alone. Some college students are not as financially literate as they'd like to be. But at IU, the Office of Financial Wellness and Education exists to improve just that. Executive Director Phil Schumann says the office sees plenty of students who want to help who want help budgeting, estimating costs, or learning about credit scores. But where should you start? Well, Schumann recommends talking about your financial future with experts in your field or with experts like him. You know, the reason why we do one-on-one uh, -on -one appointments especially is because, you know, this topic is called personal finance. And so us giving, like, generic presentations and giving, like, one-size-fits-all solutions to people doesn't really work because every individual is different. For more information about the office and how to improve your financial literacy, visit moneysmarts.iu.edu. The Kelly School of Business has won another top ranking, but this time it's for its online MBA program. While the campus program has been highly ranked for multiple years, the U.S. News and World Report recently selected the online MBA as the top online business program in the country. It tied for first with a regional UNC campus. The Kelly program has seven specializations for graduate students to choose from. And now turning to sports, we have Tyler Vondry to tell us what's going on with Hoosier Athletics. That's right, Catherine. Let's jump right into some basketball. It's a huge week for both the men's and women's basketball teams. And let's start with maybe the most anticipated game in women's college basketball this week. The number two ranked Hoosiers host Caitlin Clark and the number five ranked Hawkeyes. The Hoosiers come into this one with their highest program ranking and will be looking to contain number 22 in black and yellow. Clark one of the most electrifying players in college basketball, leads the nation in triple-doubles with three. However, this won't be no cakewalk in Assembly Hall, as the Hoosiers ride into this game on a 10-game win streak. Flipping over to the men's side, the Hoosiers picked up a huge win on Thursday, defeating number 24 Rutgers. Now riding on a two-game win streak, the Hoosiers moved up to second in the Big Ten. The Hoosiers were able to score 17 points off turnovers, but it was sharpshooter Miller Kopp that helped propel the Hoosiers' win by adding 18 points, including 12 from long range. Along with Kopp, TJD had himself another monstrous day, adding in 20 points and 18 rebounds. And for more on Trace Jackson Davis, here's Abby Hayman. That's right, Tyler. Trace Jackson Davis has smashed yet another Indiana basketball record. Tuesday night during Indiana's game against Rutgers, TJD became the only player in IU history to score 2,000 points and 1,000 rebounds. Do I, do I know about the numbers? Yeah, I do. Um, 
I don't really pay that much attention to it right now. Um, I get, we got a lot of season left and a lot more to be focused on than me just individually. Um, we're trying to win, and so I'm just doing my best to help my teammates win and win basketball games. Despite these legendary numbers, TJD is far from done. Trace is a fierce competitor on both sides of the ball and will stop at nothing to push his team as far as they can go. There's no denying that Jackson Davis will go down as one of Indiana's most notable players of all time. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Abby. And we have a heartwarming story before the ultimate football weekend. The Kansas City Chiefs will win the Super Bowl, or so says a giraffe. Bakari, a baby giraffe at the Blank Park Zoo in Iowa, made his pick earlier this week. The zoo set out team logo signs in front of two different sets of food, and, well, Bakari ate the leaves behind the Chiefs sign. Come Sunday evening, we'll see if he's right. And that's a wrap for today's IU NewsNet Daily. Tune in for the latest updates on all Hoosier news and sports. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at IUNND. For IU NewsNet Daily, I'm Katherine Patterson. And I'm Tyler Vondry. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.